what's going on guys it's your boy nightly power here in today's gta 5 online video i'll be testing out the direct mode glitch after the latest update of 1.56 so if you guys do happen to enjoy today's video make sure to go ahead and drop a like if you're new to my channel make sure to go ahead and subscribe with the bell icon turned on so you guys never miss a future post when i do happen to upload on the channel today's shout out goes to these people on screen Now if you guys would like a shout out in my next video, go ahead and comment hashtag NightlyPower in the comment section down below. Now with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Now before this video starts, I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Digizani. If you guys are looking for a cheap, fast, and reliable GTA Cash Plus rank, then check out Digizani. They offer a wide range of services for your GTA Online needs. So if you guys are interested in what Digizani has to offer, then click the first link in the description. And also, don't forget to use my discount code when you check out. Also, be on the lookout for Digizani's gaming giveaway. There are many prizes to be won. One of the prizes they're giving away is a console. So if you're interested in taking part in their giveaway, click the first link in the description down below. Now let's get straight into the video. So Rockstar released a new update for GTA Online. The current update for GTA Online is 1.56. In this video, I'll be testing out the direct mode glitch to see if it works after the patch of 1.56. So to begin with the direct mode glitch, you are going to need to shortlist your online character and your bird. Once you have both in your shortlist, then you can go into online. So the first step is to set your spawn location to last location and make your way to the time trial. Now you're going to get yourself a car and you're going to enter the time trial. Then you're going to push down on the d-pad and select any story mode character. When you get into story mode, you're going to open up the interaction menu and go into direct mode. Now when you enter direct mode, scroll down to shortlist actors and select it. Now in your shortlist, you should have your online character and your bird. From here, you're going to go back and forth between your online character and the bird for 25 minutes or until your online character gets onto the haystack. Now as you guys can see, as I scroll between the bird and the online character in the shortlist, the birds are duplicating every time I switch. So the birds are duplicating too close to each other and aren't maintaining social distance. But not to worry guys, because this is just a game. Anyways, after about 25 minutes, your online character will be transferred onto the haystack. After your online character is standing on top of the haystack, you want to hover over the bird and remove it off the shortlist. Now back out of shortlist actors, scroll up to actors, select beach bum, then scroll down to boardwalker. Now from here, you're going to change the character's appearance. Now as you change the character's appearance, you should get different modded outfits. Now as you're scrolling through the different modded outfits in direct mode, what you should be looking for is an outfit with a Christmas mask. This is how you're going to bring the outfit into online. So once you find an outfit you like, make sure to go ahead and shortlist the outfit. You should also be on the lookout for any blacklisted components. Blacklisted components are things such as the beast hands, invisible legs, any Christmas component other than the mask. So these are the things you should be on the lookout when looking for modded outfits. So once you're done looking for your outfits in direct mode, go into your shortlist and review all the outfits and then select the outfit you want to bring into online. So once you select the outfit, you should be walking outside the trailer. When you spawn outside, give the outfit one final look to see if there's any blacklisted components, and then from there, you're going to press down on the d-pad and select the story mode character. When you get into story mode, you should have the outfit. Now you're going to press the pause menu, go into online, and start up an invite only session. After you start up an invite only session, you're hit with an alert screen saying the Rockstar game services are temporarily unavailable. Return to GTA 5. Based on this, it is safe to say that the direct mode glitch still does not work. But if you guys are looking to create modded outfits, then you can go ahead and try to do the Beth glitch, aka the two console glitch. The Beth glitch is literally insane. You can go ahead and create full on modded outfits without losing your outfit. With the buff glitch, you can go ahead and create outfits using joggers, adversary mode jackets, colored armor, colored bulletproof helmet. There are tons of possibility with the two console glitch that you can do to make outfits. So I hope this video helped you guys and you found some insight about the direct mode glitch. And if you did, make sure to go ahead and drop a like. If you're new to my channel, why not go ahead and subscribe. And as always, it's been your boy, Nightly Power. Peace out.
my life, feel my pain When it comes to me and you, we're not the same This is so far from a game, what you saying?